Still new at 10, people are disgusted to learn a toddler was allegedly violated at their gym in Sika Ranch. And they are just as upset over how ownership at Villa Sport and Athletic Club handled the situation. The suspect is one of their own employees. ABC 13's Alex Mozartian joins us live at the gym near Katie with how this guy was caught. Alex? Eric, it was an employee that blew the whistle on all of this, according to the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. He tells me he was tired of waiting for the fitness club to do something, but it did come at a cost. He says since then he's been indefinitely suspended. This place has become like family to us. Kaylin Dart has picked Villa Sport Athletic Club because they watch her kids while she works out. Child care isn't a perk many gyms have. But her trust in them is gone after learning a toddler was allegedly violated by 17 year old Joseph Brevenick, a club employee. I never would have thought this would have happened in the first place, and I never would have thought that they would have handled it the way that they have handled it. Dartez was notified by email on Sunday, but according to that email, the alleged incident happened on March 21st. I'm just extremely disappointed. I feel like they should have gotten ahead of this. The email goes on to say management reviewed video footage at the time, interviewed witnesses, but found no evidence of misconduct. It took almost a month for the allegations to reach the ears of the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. They arrested Revenick on an indecency with a child charge on April 29th, something that was never mentioned in the email. That just does not set well with me. This is the employee who allegedly brought the scandal to light. He's been vocal about it on social media. I don't know what my future holds here anymore. The employee says he's been indefinitely suspended. There were members we spoke to in the parking lot who had no idea this was happening. Others who came here to sever ties. I just, I don't want to be a member of somewhere that allows that to go on. And I don't think they took the right steps, honestly. Dartez says it's going to be a tough conversation with her four kids. They are going to be devastated when I tell them that we won't be returning to the gym this summer. A corporate spokesperson told me somebody would be in touch to answer my questions about this, but I haven't heard back. We do know that Brevenick is out on bond, but we don't know his employment status at this point. If you think your child was a victim, you're asked to call the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office.